Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be setting up my binders and all the stuff for May because I didn't do this last time. I'm new to cash envelopes and all this. So um, yeah, still trying to figure out the best way to do this. And last month I didn't do like a setup video, which if you're here for budget content, I'm actually a planner. Like my channel is mainly planner related I, um, video content, uh, which is decorative planning and that kind of stuff. So I use a lot of planners and I always set up my planners the beginning before the beginning of the month. That's just a normal thing I always do just to prep everything so it's good to go for the month. And I feel like this is a form of planning um, and I need to implement some of the things that I do in my planner world into this budgeting world. So I'm going to set these up um, just so the way I have things ready because I didn't last time and then I realized I didn't have like the correct savings challenge and I want to make sure um, I have everything ready to go. Also, I'm going to be changing up these. Um, I'm going to divide these into two now instead of one because I've been adding uh, categories. And I think I'm going to add a couple more categories in this video. So you'll see that too. Also, I've been having a lot of fun, like printing my own printables, um, just so that I have something to work with. And also I plan on making a planner, uh, putting together a planner, uh, probably disbound because it's the easiest for me to put together. And I will have that eventually. It's just, I haven't had it. I've been saying that a bunch of times, but I promise I'm going to have it sometime hopefully this week or next week because I want to get it set up because right now I'm not working in a planner and I really want this to have a planner of itself um because like I said I, had, I do that's mainly what I do is planner related stuff um so yeah that's what I'm going to do here I have some things I need to add in here I'm actually going to start with my um wallet because I have so again, I'm new to this and I didn't know when I ordered this lovely Moterm, which I absolutely love. Um, I didn't know that when I ordered the A6, even though this stuff on Amazon was saying it was A6, it's not A6, it's a personal. Rings is a whole new thing for me too. This is the first, first time I've ever used rings ever. Um, so I'm so unfamiliar with all of it. So I ordered a6 so these envelopes that i punched and i actually made these envelopes too i'm um, sorry that's my little shopping list um yeah i made these envelopes which i have a video of that of how i made them um i punched these for the a6 and all of these are personal size so they don't fit like if i try to take these which are my, like my sinking funds and try to put them in my wallet um for like when i go to target it's not going to fit in here. The, the, the holes don't match up. So I've been kind of making do with it because I don't want to have to buy another one. This was super expensive and I want to at least use this for a bit before I invest in another one. But I actually like that I'm just like sticking it back here. And thankfully, since it does close up and, you know, it's pretty secure. So that's been working. That's been my go around from that little mistake. But yeah. But honestly, it's so confusing. So, so yeah. Um, but I'm going to take these out. So I pulled these from here because I went to Target. So I thought, okay, I'm probably going to buy something at Target. I didn't, though, which was surprising. Um, family, I've been really using this a lot. As you can see, I depleted it. Because um, my family's been taking care of my grandma while she's sick. And so I was taking them food. And, um, like, if they needed stuff at the grocery store, I was just using that. To, I was using this money to buy that. Uh, I went to Disneyland, so I did use some Disney money, and then I bought some things for the house. So these are the ones that I pulled because I knew I needed to use them. So I'm gonna put these back in here. Um, I don't really need to do anything else in here, so that was the only thing I really needed to do was just take those out. So that way I can put them back in here. And actually I'm gonna reorganize these in this video, uh, so that way I have two. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do I know some people do like low priority, high priority. I'm going to do like short term and long term, I think. I'm going to do one where I am like the one that I'm going to be pulling from. Like these I pull from sometimes every week or every other week. 
And then I'm gonna do one where um, it, the long term is gonna be the ones where I'm just stuffing it and I'm, pro I'm not gonna pull it for like probably a year or so or whenever I need to use it. So let me figure out those categories actually. So all of these are gonna go in here. And then um, the this one's gonna stay in here. The beauty content, I use that to pull for like if I wanna buy something to use for making videos or taking pictures and things like that. This one I'm going to pull. It's not like super long-term, but I'm not planning on getting like this piece of furniture that I plan on buying with this money yet. So I'm gonna put it in here. Clothing, I'll keep it in here. I haven't, haven't, haven't been too successful at buying clothing. Home decor, I'll keep in here. Planner stuff, I'll keep in here. Okay, this is another one. Registration, I'm gonna keep in here too. An auto repair. I'm actually gonna pull all this money this weekend because I have to go take care of a bunch of maintenance. Electronics, I am pulling this too because I'm trying to save for a desktop, so that's gonna take a bit. Christmas as well, because, you know, Christmas. And I'm gonna put taxes over here. Yeah, because I've been just um, keeping track of how much I'm saving in, in taxes on there, just for myself. Because I, like I said, I'm a planner, a paper planner, and I like to have things down on paper. Um, and when it goes into my account, I put it all into my savings, my, my taxes. It kind of gets lost, to be honest. I try to label everything so that way I have it a little bit organized in there. But for the most part, oh, I, have some more in. I just stick all the savings in there and then I'm like I have no idea what's what so this is gonna help me stay a little bit more organized all right and I'm gonna put I'm just gonna stick these in here back in here household target family oops and Disney So that is that for that one. Now this one, let's see which border do I want it in. I just want the taxes in the back. I'll do Christmas in the back too since that's quite a bit away. So I'll do electronics, auto, registration also I was like a year away. Um, furniture, yeah. Okay, I'll do it like that. And then I'll put this in here, this new one. Yeah, so so far, I've only been doing this for like, what, a month and a half, I want to say, but it's really been working for me, which I'm so happy about because I used to really overspend on a lot of stuff and it was not good. So yeah, it's nice to like, like, like that Target one, for instance, like I went to Target and I saw things, but I didn't buy anything, which was like, that's not, that's not what normally happens, to be honest. All right, and then since I have a little cute little planner charm, my friend Annabelle, um, she made these, and I'll link her shop down in the description. But I bought these little like cat ones from her recently. I think I'm gonna use this one right here, like the tortoise shell one. Oh, it's so cute. And because I like that I have the little charm here, I think it looks cute, especially through the clear. All right, so let me just stick it on here, like I stuck that one on there. All right, that, this is gonna be the little cat one. Cute. All right, so those are my two sinking funds. Those are ready to go. Oh, actually, my bad. I have some in here too. All right, so I need to take these out because I made these recently and I messed these up a little bit, but that's okay. That's what happens when you make your own. Um, I have holiday decor. These were new ones that I did. Gifts and extra debt. Okay, so I'm gonna do these two in the long-term one. I'm just gonna stick it in here. Do it near Christmas. These are all like present-related stuff. Okay. And then extra debt, because I am gonna be pulling this one. At the end of the month, I'm just gonna pull it to pay it each month like some extra 
money towards my debt. So I'm gonna stick this in the back here. All right, so that one is good to go now. All right, so those are the only things. Now I do wanna add in, I think, let's see. I wanna add in two more categories maybe. Okay, I made these two, these little sheets. But I have a friend who has an Etsy shop that has something very, very similar. I didn't realize it until after I made them. Um, but I will link that down in the description because I do have a lot of her printables. So definitely check out her shop, like this one right here. All right, so these, I'm going to make new categories, but I haven't made new envelopes yet because I need to buy more matte um, laminating pouches and I don't have them. So I'm going to hold off. Until then, I'm just going to put them in these little zippered ones and just start stuffing them because I want to get those going. Um, so there's one that I wanted, I don't know how I want to, like how I want to call it yet. It's more like a treat yourself type of, um, category. Well, treat, treat myself essentially. Um, I think I'm just going to treat yourself, but it's like a really big, like splurge purchase that I want to make, uh, for myself has like no purpose other than I really, really, really want it, but it's very, very expensive. So I'm going to save for it though. Uh, and that's what this one's going to be. Treat yourself. Treat your... Okay. So that's what I'm going to call this one. And then I'm, I'm going to start stuffing it this week. I have a big goal in mind for this one, just so that way I can get this like what I've been wanting so it's a total want total want but I think I deserve that because you know I've been pretty good about not spending money on all these unnecessary wants these like little wants um so I think I can splurge on something really fancy all right and then the next thing I was thinking of doing a Costco uh one because there's some things I like buying at Costco but you know it's it's kind of expensive because it's like bulk. Um, so it does cut into my grocery budget, but it does last longer. I don't know. I think I want to do Costco or Amazon. But honestly, I probably it's probably going to be Costco. I'm just going to do Costco. Um, okay, so that'll be that one. So those will be like two new ones that I start this week. Okay, so I'll put this in here. Uh, this money right here, I'm planning on putting it towards, which I'll do when I'm stuffed my envelopes. I plan on putting this towards my auto repair that I, well, my, my um, maintenance that I plan on having this weekend. Because this is, what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And I have 55 here. I did 55 in March. So I'm going to put that towards my repairs because I don't know I think it's gonna cost me like $800 I definitely don't have $800 saved in these um but I do have the money in savings but I'm I'm gonna try to put as much as I can from these into there so that's the plan for that all right so that one is good to go now oh I'm gonna change out I have a little rent card and I'm gonna change this out I made, again, I made this too. Um, making lots of things, but I like making things. Uh, so I have the rent one in this binder right here at the very back. And this is basically what I've been doing. Like every, I don't stuff my rent, but I wanted an envelope to kind of like stuff in a way. So this was my version of it, of being, stuffing it. So I knew that it was taken care of. Because what I do is when I get paid, I'll usually take this amount out of my paycheck and just directly put it into savings and then it'll just sit there until the first of the month and then I transfer it all over and I make the payment that's how I do it I really didn't feel like it was necessary to like pull the money out put it actually physically in an envelope and then take it back to the bank and do all of that um so I don't really I don't stuff any of my bills or anything like that because all that's like through auto pay and different methods of payment that way 
Uh, I'm just stuffing like when I go buy stuff. That's what I'm doing. Um, so rent. I did all my little rent dots. I used some washi stickers that I had that I hadn't used. I get sent a lot of like planner stationary stuff since on my channel it is planner related and I get sent a lot of like PR stuff and this was in one of the boxes and I never I didn't really use it too much except for pre-planning and then I decided I was going to use them on here because then now that this is over with I already made this payment um I can take these off very easily it's just like little washi stickers so I'm just gonna oh I thought I could take it off easy yeah this is little washi stickers so I'm just gonna take them off and then save this one now i'm not going to use this one for the upcoming month because i actually have five paydays which i learned in this community is a magic month so i have five paydays this month that i plan on now only stuffing or putting in a savings 220 from my full-time job these i pull from my like youtube earnings and my Patreon earnings. I pull that from there. And then that's how I get to my rent. 2100 which I actually got a letter today that I am going to have to be paying, what, like $180 more for rent come July because I've been here for almost a year. So that's fun. So I'll have to make new cards when that happens in July, but for now I'm still paying $2,100. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just stick this one now in here since I have, um, I, I don't have to put into savings as much as I did last month since I only had four paydays from my full-time job. So yeah, just wanted to explain that, that that's how I'm using this one like that. And then um, I think somebody had said like, I should just punch it in here, but I like literally like the, like the motion of like actually stuffing it. And then also um, that everything looks the same. I like that too. So just, I like the envelope, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. Even though it's probably easier just to punch it and put a little dot on it. All right, so that one is good. And then this, um, once I remove all of these, well, I'll do it now, but I'm just gonna stick it back here because I think, I'll have to double check the calendar, but I think June might be another month of four paychecks. So I'm just gonna save this. But I'm gonna have, I'm gonna end up getting rid of it once my rent goes up. So it is what it is. All right. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, I thought I was gonna need this, but I'm actually gonna use this in my next video where I'm actually figuring out how much I'm going to put in each envelope. Cause I made this one I'm gonna use when I'm actually stuffing it just to keep track of like the sinking funds. And then this side, I'm doing the cash planning on this side. So I have a spot for um, like how much, how many denominations I need. And then I can figure that out and then go to the bank and get that. I made these on Canva too. <laughs> so, so yeah, I love Canva. I love making things on Canva. All right, so my last thing is my savings challenge here. Um, the only thing I need to do is replace this one so i'm gonna take this one right here the april one let me count write the total on it since i really i didn't finish it all but i don't really put too much pressure on myself to finish it because i have all these savings challenges already that i'm stuffing so whenever i have fives i'll just stuff it in here Okay, so in this one I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, $35 on this one. Again, this is probably going to go straight to my maintenance payment. So that's a good amount of money though. I think I almost have $300. So that's pretty good. And then I'm just going to stick this in here with this one. Oh, you know what? I actually want to move these to the back. This way. So don't forget that I have these. Okay. I'll stick this here. Okay. Now I need to get another pouch, little pouch to stick this one in. Okay, so I have a couple more of these left, so I'm just gonna stick 
this one in here. And this one's so cute because it's like little flowers. So I'm definitely going to color these in like the middle part one color and then the other part. I'm going to I'm going to have fun with this one. This one's going to be fun to color in. Okay. And this is from Plan with Elise, which I'll have linked down in the description. And then this one is going to go where did I have this? Oh, I think I had it here. Okay. It's going to go here. Like that. So that one's ready to go. I think that was the only thing I needed to change because everything else is just kind of like rolling over into still working on them until I finish them. Okay. This one's super stuffed. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me set up all of my binders and envelopes for May. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to try to put out more budgeting and cash envelope type of content because I've been getting a lot of um, positive uh, feedback. And um, it seems like people are subscribing a lot because I'm putting this stuff out. So I wanna make sure I have stuff for them, for like all of you guys to watch. So, and, and I enjoy making it. And also it's it's really, really helpful just in my life to um, do this. So yeah, it's kind of like win-win for everybody, I think. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you on the next one.